The calmest place on Earth is an icy plateau about 200 miles from the South Pole, known only as Ridge A. It is so calm there that the stars don't twinkle because there is no disturbance in the atmosphere. That is what my heart becomes when I look at you. I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as you. If every day is a season, then let every dusk be an autumn that lets you lose your leaves in front of me. And if beneath your absent leaves you're evergreen and blushing, then that's okay. I accept the contradiction that you bring. My water ski crashed into a different life that I did not expect, and I am infinitely grateful. I was sick of writing one-way letters. A wolf pack of jean jackets and forgetful sparrows made clothes for me and called me late at night. Numbers stamped with only call when drunk flashed nicotine quick through my phone, and I became a postcard. Love doesn't arrive on a train station hello from people you recognize. It's a cape that swishes in the darkness when you're trying to turn the page. The right needle to bring the song out of the valleys is flying through you 20 times a second, stitching moments in front of you and turning your past into a tale you use for balance. The birds and the bees come in and make a hive out of drooling moments for humans to put in greeting cards and hope for in mirrors, but a crinkling at the side of your eye, and I'm yours. Promises go disregarded, unimportant, fleeting in paper plane as a weather report for next year. This is the love-swept shore of your bangs, the karate kicks of your eyelashes, and the waves of your laughter. When I'm not touching you, it feels like the circuit is broken. Be it hips, lips, or fingertips, that touch warms it up to audible and makes the reasons plain. The times I'm around you are already so valuable. I'm a man that knows the face of loss, regret, and boredom. I know the bad decisions, the dreary sentences of days without end, the impending aimlessness of just another day. You are a unicorn on the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Let's give our bad judgment a head start. Let's make our bodies into flint and spark fires to give love a chance to see in the dark. Let's make prank calls to our past. Let's get the future good and drunk and cheated cards until we're all naked in a dirty motel room laughing. Let me spend a little time coloring inside your lines. I'm burning my flight plan with one hand and reaching for you with the other. My days have become dreams, and between the dreams I have at night that are made more vibrant by the fact that you are sleeping beside me. You've taken my present, both sleeping and awake, and made it better. Not to overshare the obvious, but there are times when I'm lost in this unexpected goodness, this lack of drama, this windfall oasis of peace. I feel parts of me that I didn't even realize were tense start to uncurl. Pieces of me long since healed, but still scared, peeking between their fingers at what they thought was a horror movie. I notice glacial chapters tick over in the odometer of my chest. This is springtime finally catching me in a pillow fight. The first time we met, our 75-year-old selves recognized each other. And all that was left was the talking and the stumbling as our younger selves, these bodies here, were coaxed towards that older couple. You don't tan, but the sun makes the freckles come out across your back like stars. You are my pale night sky. This bed, corner to corner, holds more opportunities for car crashes and kite flying than our imaginations can possibly exploit, except for years of delicious trial and error. You're turning the strings of my heart into an orchestra. I want to swim forever in the high tide line of your hips. You're reminding me that there is such a thing as a safe place, and I'm thrilled I make you happy. Let's go forward, hand in hand, like kids at a playground. Let's skip until we break a record. Woo!